Nine years ago, I started to build a bionic hand. We started with open source designs and modified them. In 2014, I met Juan Sukio in Ecuador, who lost his hand 35 years prior due to an explosion during a war. With our prototype, he made a pinch with his left hand for the first time in 35 years and said that a part of him had come back. If we wanted everyone to feel like he did, we had to commercialize this technology. That's when Psionic was born. We kept iterating and even open sourced our own designs. We went back to Ecuador to have Juan try subsequent iterations, but none were good enough. So we kept iterating and improving our design to make it more robust, faster, more dexterous, and gave it a sense of touch until finally it was ready to bring back to Juan. Now, nine years later, we've brought a part of him back. This is why we do what we do.